Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm making this lovely bass fishing lure and uh, it's pretty cool so stay tuned and hope you enjoy. So this process is me cutting out my lure with a coping saw. It's a lot of work, but it gets pretty decent results, so it's worth it, I think. All right, that was it fully cut out, and now I'm using my knife to um, get rid of some of the scratch marks and mistakes, so I'm just kind of carving it a little bit, leveling it things out. So that's what that is. I, it looks kind of odd, but that's what I'm doing, so it's pretty important. I'm filing some of the um, edges now. Oh, um, so now I I just drew lines on the fins for, uh, I, they were even, and then I sawed them out. This is the process of making fins, and as you can see, I'm chiseling away the two end pieces, leaving one um, uh, middle piece that stands in the middle of the fishing lure. It's a pretty effective way of going about this, and it worked, so... I guess that's all that matters. It did take a while though. And I'm filing down those edges because that chisel left some marks. Oh, and I just jumped to the end. Well, not the end, but the finishing of the um, fins. So now I am using a piece of wood with a ankle cut in it, and I'm pinching the saw blade and cutting the bait exactly in half. And so that just gives it, you do that from both sides, and it gives it um, even angles on each side. And so that is the top profile being drawn out. Um, bass are pretty thin, so I made it relatively thin, and that I made that tail fin thicker than it will be at the end.
so that is sanding all the um, sides clean to make it even and remove tool marks. So this is the beginning of rounding it off. I am carving on the edges um, to make it round. I had to resort to using the knife. I need to sharpen the chisel. but it was difficult to carve in uh, those places with the fins. There it is all carved out for the most part and I'm going to sand all those edges smooth. And it looks like I'm drawing the ridge where the fin will separate from the main body of the fish. And um, then you score that with a knife. And then you uh, carve it out. So there I'm scoring it, and now I'm trying to figure out how to um, cut it. And I'm drawing the lines on the fins for the fin rib things. Now I'm scoring them out. And I think I'm already just carving them out right there. And there we're scoring the tailpiece and actually carving it out. And all the details didn't come out bad. They looked pretty good. There it is. With all of its details pretty much done. Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't show you how to do the gills. Um, so, don't know how that happened, but it's the same process. You just draw out your gill shape. Um, then you uh, score it with, with a knife. And then you go back and carve right on the that scoring, but at an angle. And it carves away some wood on 
one of the sides, and I don't know how I didn't film that bit. Um, I think you can go back and look in a different video to see how the gills are made if you're still unsure. So you can do that if you need to. But um, and if you're now wondering why I am gouging a very very large hole in my lure. That's because I was just, as you can now see, I put a large sinker in it and I'm covering it over with baking soda and super glue. I got two more in the back on camera. I used the Dremel for that to to help me out. And so yeah, this baking soda and super glue concoction is really handy. It, it hardens really quickly and it it's very strong so you just gotta spread it nice and smooth and that's the super glue I use um, and then I sand that off smooth because uh, I don't know it makes it look a lot better <laughs> okay it looks like I'm about to finish cutting the joint a little off frame but I think you get the idea you just want them to meet evenly those two um, lines evenly in the middle there looks pretty good alright so yeah that back piece the angle of of that joint needs to be different um, because it will then give it more room to wiggle and swim. If it's if they're the same angle, both piece and it tries to swim, um, it won't have as much um, space to wiggle waggle um, when it's hopefully swimming, and so. Yeah, I, I don't know. You you shave it down so it has more room and it can maybe get a better action. And that's what I'm doing there. There you can see it. Drilling out the hardware holes. And that's how you um, make the hardware. That's how I make the hardware anyway. I put like a nail or just any piece of metal in my vise, loop some wire and chuck it in my drill, and throw it around that and twist it up. And that's how you make a, a joint connection. You just add another wire into that and then twist up that one attached to it. So one's probably a tiny bit bitter, but that bigger. <laughs> but you can't really see it and it doesn't matter. So that's the bait with all of its hardware in and just held together still need to seal it but it's looking pretty cool so that's um, pretty much what I just said I guess now I'm gluing in the hardware for for the final time before it was just sitting there now I am sealing the wood with the super glue I'm not using my finger because that's not good for me using a little paper towel or something oh and I'm painting so I got a small coat of white on it looks like but I needed more okay got that base coat done and moving on to brown you may be thinking brown that's an odd color to put on a bass but um, I guess uh, you'll you'll see it it makes just kind of a, a really nice you can see it here kind of a camo I don't know what to call that green. It's kind of like a murky, swampy green. 
I guess. I don't know, but it looks good on a bass. On this particular paint scheme, anyway. Now that looks like I'm doing a black back, and the top fin's black, too. Um, I'm doing it pretty light, because they're not terribly dark on their back. Well, the ones I've caught aren't. Anyway. Alright, and so, I'm sorry about my hand. Didn't uh, know I was blocking the camera when I did this. But I am just going and putting little dots and spots all over the place on this fishing lure. And I'm making almost like little um, stripes coming down from the back, but not quite. So that's just their lateral line thing that they have. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That's pretty bad. Okay, so that's the first I did. And that's, that's the finished, uh, all the stuff. And I put black around the eye. That looks pretty good. So these are scales, so I'm just putting mesh, and I don't know why the scales always change the angle. I don't, I don't change anything, it just does that when I do the scales. So I'm doing um, gold, a lot of gold on the, on the top of the whole lure, and then I'm doing silver scales right under that. And now I'm out of frame. <laughs> it's not good. Alright everyone, I am here at the pond. I don't think I'm going to catch a fish with this, but I can most certainly try. I have audio now because this is my new phone. That is how it came out with a 30 minute epoxy. It looks incredible. I don't think I will catch a fish because all the fish in here are like this size. But I'm going to give it a very fair shot. And hopefully we can see if it works well or not. And if I lose it, I'm going swimming. I'm not losing this. That's not an option. Don't know what it's doing. Oh, it works great. Holy cow. We've got a good bait. Got some stuff hung up in it. Wow, it works incredible. Need to untangle it though. Tenny! My dog just showed up out of nowhere. Okay. Well, I wish it weren't so weedy so I could show you the action. Maybe I can try it out this way. What the heck? Tangled up over here. Wow, this thing is way too heavy for this rod. This is not working out too well. And cast. That was a little cast and it went very far. Okay, let's see if you can see it. I'm gonna let it float, because it floats a little bit, but like barely. You guys see that? I don't know what you could see or not. Hey, anybody, ha if anybody's watched that new Marling Baits video, then, then you'll know what I'm talking about here. Um, this lure also has a particular splashdown sound. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what you can see or not. Why does it have to blend in so well? It works so good. Can you, can you see that? 
let me know if you can see that in the comments below and if you can't then I'll I'll figure it out I'll get out the underwater camera and get all crazy sophisticated and all that stuff hope you can see it it's really good Okay, I'll have to review this footage at home. Maybe if I give it a little bit more line. Okay, yeah, I'm not casting because I can't really do that. Well, at least maybe you'll see the wake or something. But trust me, guys, it, it's working. Okay. You guys see that fish? There's a fish right here. Can any of you see that fish? Where'd it go? See that? There's a fish right there. Little bass. Oh, too low. seen that? That's awesome.